The concept of time within the Warframe universe is kind of weird. You can only really tell the time by the planet spinning outside, but that is sped up. The moon doesn't spin at all. If I leave it there, you can see the, the rings that go around it, that kind of go through it at the same time, aren't moving in conjunction with the lotus symbols on the front of the window here. It has zero rotation. Weirdly, the Earth in the background doesn't either. This is the only place I've found that actually does this. Other places, the planet spins and it gives a really weird concept of time. I'm mentioning this mainly because Earth's night and day rotation is every eight hours it changes from night to day. So there are two days, yeah, in every one actual day outside of the game which has pretty much kind of concreted the fact that time within the Warframe universe is twice as fast as it is outside of the game, which is weird because trials and things like that, you could only do once a day. So really that's once every two days. But without the rotation of the planets, how do you actually tell time in Warframe while you're in space? Taking Earth as the example, it's kind of made worse depending on where the planet spawns in your view window. If it spawns off to the side like this, as you can see, it's kind of over water at the minute. There is islands there. Yeah, I guess you can keep an eye on those and wait for them to come around again. But if you actually sit and watch the planet long enough, it doesn't do a full rotation. It will get to a certain point and then the whole planet just kind of jumps as the animation goes back to zero and starts over again. This is why finding the correct time of day is a bit harder to do. Right now it should be night time because there's, the sun is over the water. But if I actually go into a mission you can see it is very much daytime. This does make tracking the time of day almost impossible in the world of Warframe, simply because what you see out the window doesn't necessarily correspond to what you see out of the window because they've made the planet spin, which visually is great if you like the visual side of it, which most people do visually. I would much rather have it as it is where visually you can go and just look out the window and see the planet rotating round rather than have it just sit there stationary and not move. And that's where I think the Tenocon reveal thing will come in quite interesting because that had a visual night and day difference. You could see the sun actually go down, the enemies ran away. And I'm really looking forward to see how they put that over the existing concept of time, which has the planet rotating just outside of the orbiter. Because you still need to be able to tell if it's daytime or nighttime on the planet before actually going down. Earth being the only one that actually does this, because when you're in space, really, there is no daytime or nighttime. It's all lit pretty much from the ship you're on or... I guess when you're on the planets they could have a concept of time but Earth is the only one that actually has it included at the minute. But I'm more than anything else for that whole Tenocon reveal, kind of looking forward to playing at night on Earth because of the Eidolons and seeing how they actually work in this concept of time because at the minute it's weird because the planet can be on a nighttime looking thing, but it's actually daytime, and you've basically got to look it up to see if it's daytime or nighttime, or just go do a mission. That was or that is the easiest way. How they do this going forward, who knows? But I, for one, am really looking forward to it. Anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.